the minister meeting starts. Over to you, Ms. Minister. I have um, two initial statements. The first point, or the first statement, as the humanitarian situation deteriorates in the Gaza Strip, Japan will provide a 10 million US and dollar emergency humanitarian assistance to civilians in Gaza through the international agencies. Japan condemns the terrorist attacks by Hamas and Palestinian militants and continues its diplomatic efforts to improve the Palestinian refugees and innocent citizens' access to humanitarian assistance, including water, medical care, and health services. We will continue to monitor the local situation with a serious concern and toward the improvement of the humanitarian situation and the calm down of the situation in the Gaza Strip, we will further cooperate with the related states and the international organizations to actively engage with the related parties and provide necessary assistance based on the local needs. The second statement, Afghanistan, Afghanistan is uh, suffering from enormous damage caused by a series of earthquakes that have taken place in western Afghanistan since October 7th. In response, the cabinet decided today to provide 3 million US dollar emergency grant aid in food supply and health care through the international agencies. In addition, we provide 1.46 million US dollar assistance in ODA through Japan platform. The government of Japan will expeditiously implement this assistance package and will continue to stay close to the Afghan people for improving the current humanitarian situation. That's all. Now we would like to take your questions. Please make sure to make sh mention your name and your belongings. Matsuyama-san from the Asahi Shimbun, please. My name is uh, Asa, uh, the Mats um, I am from the Asahi Shimbun. You mentioned about uh, the, uh, the ten million dollar of the support to be provided, and uh, uh, there is a heightening tension uh, over uh, the possible ground invasion and the UN uh, is strongly condemning uh, uh, such a move. And uh, is Japan planning on uh, making uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, planning on uh, condemning the situation uh, with the strong words against Israel? In the surrounding of the Gaza region and the surrounding vicinities, uh, there is uh, many uh, people who are, whose lives are claim, uh, claimed dead. And uh, the sense of tension is heightening constantly, and we would the situation cannot be predicted, and we are monitoring the situation with the serious concern against such situation. Well, uh, the Japanese uh, government uh, is working on uh, or paying uh, diplomatic efforts in all the, for the situation uh, to be calmed down as soon as possible, and working on securing up the, uh, the safety uh, uh, of the, peop uh, the civilians and the improvement of the humanitarian situation. I myself. Uh, had uh, made a telephone uh, the talks with uh, the, uh, uh, the Israel, U Jordan, UAE, Egypt, and Qatar, and on 13th they had conducted a phone uh, talk with the Minister Maliki of Palestine, and also had conducted a foreign minister telephone talks with the Saudi Arabian foreign minister on 16th. And we are uh, uh, making uh, the final uh, coordination for the telephone talks to be conducted with the Abdul Rabian, uh, the foreign minister of uh, Iran. Well, in relation to Israel, on 12, when we had the foreign minister telephone talk, I myself had asked uh, the Israeli, uh, the foreign minister Cohen, uh, that uh, we have expectation for the situation to be calmed down as soon as possible. And on 16th, well, uh, the senior vice minister Tsuji uh, of the foreign minist uh, ministry uh, had uh, the talk uh, with uh, the ambassador uh, of Israel in Japan and requested uh, 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 to uh, the secure uh, the environment that enables the humanitarian uh, the support. 
And as a part of such uh, the efforts, diplomatic efforts, from tonight, uh, the special envoy for the Middle East at uh, the peace of Japan, uh, the Mr. Uemura, uh, will be dispatched as the, uh, the representative of Japan uh, to Egypt, uh, Jordan, and Qatar. And uh, we are uh, going to uh, have a consultation uh, so uh, that we will be able to study as to uh, the necessary action that shall be taken by the Japanese government as for Japan based on uh, the constantly changing situation uh, together with the related countries. We are going to uh, communicate appropriately so that we will be fully prepared for securing uh, the safety of uh, the Japanese nationals who are there. And we are going to continue our diplomatic efforts for the improvement of the humanitarian situation. Katsurada-san of Kyoto News. This is Katsurada speaking. Related on questions. In case if there's going to be a ground assault by the Israeli forces, in that case, the state, uh, the government of uh, Japan will condemn the terrorist attacks by Hamas and um, s uh, continue to uh, mention that Israeli has the right to protect their own people in accordance with international law. With regard and to the possible ground assault, that is um, a hypothetical question, so I would like to refrain from uh, responding to this question. And on top of that, what I would like to mention here is that we need uh, to condemn uh, the terrorist attacks by Hamas and the Palestinian uh, militant groups. And first, that there should be immediate release of the hostages, hostages and the guarantee the security of innocent citizens. Secondly, all the parties should comply with the international law. Thirdly, there should be an early calm down of the situation. These are the important messages we have continued uh, to consistently uh, communicate it to the international community. There will be no change to that. The news, uh, Azahari -san. Azahari -san, uh, of the Paris Orient News. News, uh, what's Japan's position on the Israeli occupation forces call for about uh, millions of Palestinians in Gaza to leave their homes? And uh, related question, there are some photos showed that JICA office in Gaza was bombed and uh, they say that's a terrorist attack by Israel. So do you plan to condemn that as a terrorist attack by Israel and do you plan to ask Israel for compensation for the damage? Thank you. Well, in uh, the Gaza and the surrounding areas, uh, many people's lives were being claimed already. And currently, uh, the, the sense of uh, the tension is constantly heightening, and we, the situation cannot be predicted. As for Japan, we are carefully monitoring the situation with the serious concern. Well, uh, the building of the JICA uh, Gaza office uh, had been uh, damaged, but at least uh, we understand that uh, the, there was no damage being inflicted against uh, the people. We are currently uh, trying to confirm uh, the actual uh, the status of the damage in regards to the office. And I understand that the damage had been incurred against the facilities and uh, the staff of the UNRWA. Well, the foreign uh, the fleeing uh, for uh, the foreigners, including the Jap Japanese uh, from the Gaza, and I uh, the improvement of the humanitarian situation are uh, the pressing issue against Israel on 16th uh, against uh, the ambassador of Israel. Uh, the senior vice minister Tsuji mentioned uh, the importance of the protection of the innocent civilians and that all the stakeholders uh, shall uh, respond in line uh, with the international humanitarian law and in order to make sure that the necessary support will be will be able to reach uh, the civilians what well, we ask uh, for the cooperation for uh, the involvement that enables humanitarian activities in line with the constantly changing situation uh, we are going to uh, communicate uh, with the stakeholders yoda san of yomiuri shimbun this is Yoda of Yomiuri Shimbun. With regard to the evacuation of Japanese nationals, on the 14th, the, uh, the charter flight uh, by the government, eight Japanese nationals were on board. And according to the previous uh, survey, what was the, um, uh, the number of uh, uh, passengers 
and there are commercial flights uh, ongoing. Do you believe that it was an appropriate decision and to send a chartered flight? First and foremost, with regard to the charter uh, arrangement, prior to that, we conducted a survey with regard to their desire, with regard to their uh, departure. And then based on that survey, we recognized that there was a certain level of uh, desire uh, among the Japanese nationals. Currently, there are some commercial flights. The number itself has been uh, reduced, but it is still continuing. Therefore, when it comes to the Japanese nationals who wish and to leave the country, we wanted to provide a one choice uh, of the chartered flight, other than the commercial flights that they will be able to use. Reuter, uh, 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 please. There's a perception that Japan's response to this crisis has been more restrained than some other G7 countries. Japan was not among the five G7 leaders who issued a statement immediately after the attacks, and initially at least used more cautious language in its official statements. Why is that? And a related question, Japan imports more than 90% of its oil from the Middle East. Is it concerned about this given the volatility of the situation in the region? Thank you. As uh, the, the G7 presidency holder, uh, uh, the Jap this year, uh, the Japan uh, is closely uh, co uh, collaborating and coordinating with the G7 nations in regards to the variety of the issues in the international society. Uh, since uh, the occurrence of this matter, we have been conducting a variety of other uh, communication with the G in between uh, the G7 nations, and have and each country is, is issuing uh, the statement in regards to the G uh, the statements that. Uh, that you mentioned. Conventionally, under uh, the variety of the framework uh, the, the, in the international society, each country had been, has been issuing uh, the statement because to the Middle East issue. I understand that this statement had been issued as part of that. As for Japan, we it is strongly it condemning uh, the terrorist uh, terrorism attack by uh, the Palestinian uh, the armed forces, including Hamas, and we ask for uh, the instant re re release uh, of the pe people who are held hostage and securing uh, of the safety of the civilians, and uh, that all the related stakeholders would act in line with the international law, and that the situation would be calmed down uh, as soon as possible. That is uh, the position that we had maintained. And, and uh, now the situation is constantly changing. And in line with the changing situation, uh, we have been communicating at the stance uh, of Japan continuously uh, together with the G7 nations at the variety of levels uh, we are going to uh, communicate. And in regards to the international issues, we are going to respond with a close uh, coordination. In, as for the Middle East, uh, there is a uh, the strong uh, the potential and uh, is rich in uh, the energy resources. At the same time, uh, is important uh, the, uh, uh, the region for the ceiling. And 90% of uh, the, uh, the crude oil being imported by Japan is from the Middle East. In that sense, uh, the peace and stability of the region uh, is uh, extremely important for the energy security. And from such a standpoint as well, uh, the Japan uh, is monitoring the situation with the grave concern. And as for Japan, continuously with the international society, including G7, we are going to uh, coordinate. And the three points that I had just mentioned is going to be used as the basis uh, uh, to uh, quickly make a deci uh, the decision and to, and to act quickly. Nishimura san, right, your friends. Hamas and Israeli uh, warfare, in particular in France, uh, that raises uh, terrorist uh, risks. And last uh, Friday, there was a terrorist attack on the middle school, and one teacher was killed, and three were injured. And the French government, in response, raised uh, the terrorist alert to the highest level. With regard to that the situation, those Japanese uh, nationals staying or will stay in France. Any warnings are going to be announced or issued and to, uh, to them by the Japanese government. On October 13th, 
in northern France, men intruded the middle school and killed the teacher and injured some others. We recognize that news. On behalf of the Japanese government and the Japanese people, I would like to express and extend my deepest condolences to the bereaved uh, families and also would like to wish the quick recovery of the injured. By no means these terrorist attacks uh, can be rec uh, uh, accepted and we condemn them with the strongest words. And in response to this incident, the French government raised the alert level to the highest one. As far as the Ministry of uh, uh, Foreign Affairs is uh, concerned, we are going to issue some spot information and the consulate mails and to the Japanese nationals living in France, and also giving a warning to those who are going to make visit to France. Going forward, with regard to the issues, including uh, the terrorist uh, countermeasures, we are going to continue to collaborate with the French government. And on an appropriate scale, we are going to provide uh, information and to the overseas Japanese nationals for securing the security. For the concern, please, from the Anadol Agency. Uh, my name is Polikon. Uh, the Japanese, as a part of the, uh, the release of the uh, detention, uh, the Japanese uh, the government uh, had decided uh, to dispatch the special uh, uh, the envoy for uh, the Middle East and uh, the peace, and we are closely monitoring uh, the situation. What well, uh, the, uh, the special uh, the envoy for the Middle East and the peace? What sort of uh, uh, the specific uh, proposal uh, will uh, the special envoy uh, be making? Well, in this week, what sort of uh, the revolutionary actions uh, can we expect for Japan to uh, make? Up until now, uh, as for the Japanese government, for the calming down of the situation quickly and for the improvement of the humanitarian situation in the Gaza region, uh, we, we, the Japanese government, had actively uh, paid uh, diplomatic efforts. And part of such efforts uh, tonight, uh, the special envoy for Middle East peace, well, uh, the Uemura, uh, uh, will be dispatched to Egypt, Jordan, and Qatar. Well, uh, the special envoy Uemura in these uh, the countries uh, that will be visited is expected uh, to uh, conduct uh, the consultation in regards to the situation uh, with uh, the, the government officials of each country. And based on that, we are going to study uh, the actions that shall be uh, taken by the Japanese uh, the government quickly. As for Japan, well, uh, through uh, the diplomatic efforts, including uh, the visit by uh, the special envoy Omura, we are going to uh, pay, uh, the full conduct the full preparation for the securing of the safety of the Japanese nationals and for uh, the situ situation to be calmed down and for the improvement of the humanitarian situation. We are going to continuously uh, uh, pay the effort. And uh, this is going to be the last question. Can I start from NHK, please? Igarashi of NHK. With regard to guaranteeing the safety of Japanese nationals, uh, how many Japanese nationals remain in the situation? How's the condition of the uh, safety? In particular, there is uh, the issue, concerned issue about the safety of uh, those Japanese nationals in Gaza Strip. The first point within Palestine and uh, Gaza, uh, there are supposed to be 900 Japanese nationals. And currently, at this point in time, there are no news and reports about uh, any threat and to their safety. In the Gaza Strip, a small number of Japanese nationals are living, and we're in close communication with them. Going forward, we are going to collaborate with the relevant agencies and the states and so that the safety of the Japanese nationals will be guaranteed. With this, the press conference comes to an end. Thank you.